20 Notable Accomplishments of Queen Elizabeth II Queen Elizabeth II accomplished an awful lot in her 96 years of life. From serving her country to surviving an assassination attempt, these are the top 20 notable accomplishments of Queen Elizabeth II. She certainly made the most of her long, prosperous reign. Keep watching to find out more about Queen Elizabeth's most notable accomplishments. Number 1. Longest Serving Monarch in British History Queen Elizabeth II is the longest serving monarch in British history. This is arguably her greatest accomplishment. In 2022, Queen Elizabeth II celebrated the 70th anniversary of the Ascension to the Throne, also known as the Platinum Jubilee. Queen Elizabeth II was only 26 when she was coronated. At the time of her Platinum Jubilee, Queen Elizabeth was 96 years old. Shortly after the Platinum Jubilee celebrations wrapped up in June of 2022, the world mourned her death in early September. Queen Elizabeth II narrowly missed out on the reputable title of world's longest serving monarch to King Louis XIV of France. Louis XIV served as monarch for 72 years after taking the throne when he was only four years old. Regardless, being the longest serving monarch in British history is an amazing accomplishment. Queen Elizabeth II will go down in history as a steadfast, loyal monarch. Number 2. Head of the Commonwealth Queen Elizabeth II was head of the Commonwealth for over 70 years. As head of the Commonwealth, the Queen was the sovereign and head of state of 32 countries during her lifetime. At the time of her death, she was head of state of 15 countries. Queen Elizabeth II was also the ceremonial leader of the entire Commonwealth of Nations. This includes 58 member states, many of which have transitioned into republics in recent decades. The first Commonwealth nation to declare its independence from the crown was India in 1947. Ever since, there has been a steady decline in the nations of which Queen Elizabeth II was sovereign. Most recently, Barbados officially became a republic in late 2021. At the beginning of Queen Elizabeth's reign, there were only eight member states. Throughout her time on the throne, Queen Elizabeth oversaw an organization of sovereign member states who voluntarily joined. This was an extraordinary development for the British Empire. It developed from an institution premised on a divide and conquer rhetoric into a powerful, peaceful organization. The increase in Republican and independent sentiments should not be considered a failure on Queen Elizabeth II's behalf. Instead, it shows her willingness to respond to modernity. The British Empire was failing dramatically in 1953 when the Queen was crowned. Instead of letting it go down in flames, she guided it into a modernized, peaceful transition. The Commonwealth remains one of the most influential collections of nations in the world. Number 3. Service in World War II During World War II, Queen Elizabeth II served in the Auxiliary Territorial Service, ATS. At age 18, Queen Elizabeth II trained as a truck driver and a mechanic to help the war effort. She was the first female member of the royal family to serve in the military. This remains one of Queen Elizabeth II's greatest accomplishments. At the time, all unmarried women under 30 had to join the armed forces work on the land, or join the industrial workforce. King George V ensured his daughter was not given a special rank in the army. Queen Elizabeth started as a second subaltern in the ATS and was later promoted to junior commander, the equivalent of captain. Queen Elizabeth II officially began her training in the ATS in 1945. She spent most of her military days at a training facility near Windsor Castle. She was taught the basics of auto engineering and vehicle maintenance. She was nicknamed Princess Auto Mechanic during this time. World War II officially ended on May 8, 1945. Thankfully, Queen Elizabeth II was never actually conscripted onto the battlefield. Instead, she got to celebrate the end of the war on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. After their public appearance, Queen Elizabeth and her younger sister, Princess Margaret, slipped into the party outside. The sisters even joined a conga line at the Ritz Hotel. 
1985, Queen Elizabeth II described it as one of the most memorable moments of my life. Number 4. Modernized the Monarchy Throughout her 70-year reign, Queen Elizabeth II kept the monarchy relevant and modern. There are a number of things Queen Elizabeth did to modernize the monarchy throughout her reign. Firstly, Queen Elizabeth embraced technology. Her coronation in 1953 was the first to be televised live to millions of people worldwide. What was previously a private, sacrosanct event became a television spectacle. British people bought a television for the sole purpose of watching the coronation. From early on, the Queen understood how technology could bring her closer to her subjects. Throughout her reign, she always allowed cameras into her public engagements and ceremonial events. Queen Elizabeth II famously said that the monarchy needed to be seen to be believed. Queen Elizabeth harnessed the power of technology to modernize the monarchy and to show the world the importance of this historic institution. Queen Elizabeth II was seen and believed. Secondly, Queen Elizabeth always used the media to her advantage. Her close relationship with the media grew from her appreciation of the value of technology. Queen Elizabeth II had an active and charismatic media presence. While on television, she was personable, kind, and at times, very funny. The Queen used the media to her advantage to boost her public persona. One of the many ways she did this was through funny skits that aired at key British events. One of the more memorable of these skits was when Queen Elizabeth opened the 2012 London Olympic Games with James Bond in a short video. In 2022, Queen Elizabeth had tea and marmalade sandwiches with Paddington Bear to celebrate her Platinum Jubilee. Positive media coverage was essential to Queen Elizabeth II's modernization campaign. She always stayed relevant through her strategic use of the media. Finally, Queen Elizabeth modernized the monarchy by retaining public loyalty. Queen Elizabeth II earned the public's loyalty through decades of service and sacrifice. She kept the monarchy alive by keeping her promises to the British people. In return, they showed her dedication, love, and respect. This loyalty allowed the crown to adapt to changing times and survive the turmoil. Even amongst the many royal scandals, the Queen was always trusted as a figurehead of modern Britain. People didn't consider her a relic of an antiquated institution. Instead, the public believed in Queen Elizabeth and all that she represented. Public loyalty is a fundamental way Queen Elizabeth II kept the monarchy modern. Number 5. First British Monarch to Address Congress On May 16, 1991, Queen Elizabeth became the first British monarch to address a joint session of Congress. In her speech, Queen Elizabeth II celebrated the cooperation and commonality between the United States and Britain. She advocated for the positive change both countries could bring by virtue of the rich ethnic and cultural diversity of both of our societies. At the end of her address, all 800 members in the chamber gave Queen Elizabeth II a standing ovation. The address to Congress remains one of Queen Elizabeth II's greatest accomplishments. Number 6. Charity Work Queen Elizabeth was a patron to over 500 charity organizations in her lifetime. Some of the most notable of Her Majesty's patronages were Cancer Research UK, the British Red Cross Society, and a number of British hospitals. Much of Queen Elizabeth II's working life was dedicated to championing her patronages in the United Kingdom and overseas. She was regularly updated on her charity's activities and always attended notable events hosted by them. The Queen personally invited staff, volunteers, and beneficiaries of her patronages to her annual garden party hosted in the gardens of Buckingham Palace. Queen Elizabeth II prioritized supporting her charities and celebrating their hard work. She will always be remembered for her amazing charitable accomplishments. Number 7. First Monarch to Appear on TV Queen Elizabeth II was the first British monarch to appear on television. The coronation of Queen Elizabeth was broadcast live on the BBC on June 2, 1953. More than 20 million people watched the coronation. For the first time ever, television audiences outnumbered those listening on the radio. 
1957, Queen Elizabeth II transformed the traditional Christmas Day speech from radio to television. Her father, King George V, invented the radio tradition in 1932. 25 years later, Queen Elizabeth completely changed the Christmas Day message. The broadcast was appreciated and loved by all. Her television appearance presented a rare, humanized glimpse of the life of Queen Elizabeth II. The speech was recorded from her home in Sandringham. Viewers saw her unique personality and mannerisms shine through their televisions. The public had never felt so connected to their monarch. The Queen's first appearance on television cemented her as a modern, lovable sovereign. Number 8. Served by 15 British Prime Ministers Throughout her 70-year reign, Queen Elizabeth II was served by 15 British Prime Ministers. Her first Prime Minister was wartime hero Winston Churchill. Churchill was ousted from Parliament in 1945, but was re-elected in 1951. Queen Elizabeth II was crowned in 1953, right in the middle of Churchill's term. Queen Elizabeth II's last Prime Minister was Liz Truss in 2022. Liz Truss officially replaced Boris Johnson as Prime Minister on September 6, 2022. She was asked by the Queen to form a new government two days before Her Majesty passed away. Rumor has it that Harold Wilson, who served from 1964 to 1970, was the Queen's favorite Prime Minister. Number 9. Stability Queen Elizabeth II exemplified stability and continuity. During her reign, Queen Elizabeth oversaw war, recession, tragedy, political scandal, and death. Queen Elizabeth II was committed and resolute throughout these challenges. Britons felt they could rely on her for support and assistance during challenging times. Queen Elizabeth II was the very personification of a stable, resolute leader. Number 10. Helped Succession Become More Equitable In 2013, Queen Elizabeth II gave royal assent to the Succession to the Crown Act. This act abolished the rule that younger sons would override their older sisters in the line to the throne. As of 2013, the oldest daughter of a monarch or the monarch's heir would inherit the throne as a right. Essentially, Princess Charlotte, the second child of William and Kate, would not be replaced by her younger brother, Prince Louis. Queen Elizabeth II was particularly passionate about making succession more equitable. If King George V had a son of any age, Queen Elizabeth II would never have become monarch. Queen Elizabeth made the monarchy a more equal, modern institution for female members of the royal family. This accomplishment is something she will always be remembered for. Number 11. Currency Queen Elizabeth II set the Guinness World Record for most currencies featuring the same individual. She's appeared on the currencies of 33 different countries. This includes the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, Bermuda, and St. Lucia, amongst others. Number 12. One of the wealthiest monarchs in history. One of Queen Elizabeth II's greatest achievements is her wealth. In 2022, the Sunday Times estimated the Queen's personal wealth was approximately 370 million pounds, 425 million dollars. Similarly, the royal family's assets are estimated to be worth around 23 billion pounds. The Queen has accrued wealth through property, jewelry, art, and investment holdings. Other wealthy monarchs include Via Rolancorn, the King of Thailand, with a net worth of $43 billion, and the Sultan of Brunel at $28 billion. Number 13. Olympic Records Queen Elizabeth II is the only monarch in history to have opened the Olympic Games twice. In 1976, she opened the Montreal Olympic Games. In 2012, 36 years later, Queen Elizabeth II opened the London Olympic Games. Number 14. Longest Royal Marriage On November 20, 1947, Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip got married. Their marriage lasted throughout Queen Elizabeth II's reign and then some. Sadly, Prince Philip died on April 9, 2021. 
Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip were, at the time of his death, married for 74 years. Their marriage was the longest royal marriage in history. Their love was one for the ages. Number 15. Honorary Positions and Appointments Queen Elizabeth II has been bestowed numerous honorary positions and appointments. Some of her most notable titles include Colonel-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Commonwealth of Nations, Knight of the Order of the Elephant from Denmark, and Grand Cordon of the Order of El Kemal. Queen Elizabeth II has also been given hundreds of awards. These include an honorary degree of Doctor in Music from the University of Wales and an honorary degree of Doctor of Laws from the University of London. She also has a chain of honor from Sudan and a collar of independence from Qatar. Queen Elizabeth's many honorary positions and appointments are one of her greatest accomplishments. Number 16. BAFTA Award Queen Elizabeth II received a BAFTA Award on April 4, 2013. She was awarded an Honorary British Academy Special Award by Sir Kenneth Branagh in recognition of her patronage of the film and television industries. Queen Elizabeth II is the first monarch in history to receive the prestigious BAFTA Award. Number 17. International Equestrian Federation Lifetime Achievement Award The International Equestrian Federation, FEI, awarded Queen Elizabeth II the Lifetime Achievement Award in 2014. The FEI Lifetime Achievement Award is given to people who have shown extraordinary dedication and commitment to horses. FEI President Princess Haya bint Al Hussein says Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth is a lifelong lover of horses, who has inspired millions around the world, and I'm honored to be able to present the first ever FEI Lifetime Achievement Award to Her Majesty on behalf of the FEI. Number 18. Life Saving Award Queen Elizabeth II was the first person in the Commonwealth to receive a life saving award. In 1941, the Queen was awarded the Junior Respiration Award from the Royal Life Saving Society. Number 19. Oldest Monarch in History Before she died, in September of 2022, Queen Elizabeth II was the oldest living monarch. This is an amazing accomplishment. Now, the oldest living monarch is 91-year-old Amir Humayd bin Rashid al Nuaymi, the ruler of the Emirate of Ajman in the UAE. Number 20. First British Monarch to Visit China In 1986, Queen Elizabeth II became the first British monarch to visit the Chinese mainland. While in China, Queen Elizabeth toured the Terracotta Warriors in Xi'an and the Great Wall in Beijing. The diplomatic importance of this event makes it one of the Queen's most notable accomplishments. The trip has since become infamous due to Prince Philip's racist remarks while in China. Philip called Beijing ghastly and told a group of British students they would get slitty eyes if they stayed in China too long. The unfortunate comments certainly overshadowed the Queen's accomplishments. Can you think of any more notable accomplishments of Queen Elizabeth II? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. See you next time!